Okay folks, I just heard the machine beep. I think I forgot to take the original off the uh, platinum glass. So I'm just gonna go and just get to the badges of the machine and then hopefully I'll remember that I've flashed the badges as we toner heads do. That's what we toner heads are like. Photocopier nerds, photocopier geeks. We're called toner heads. Toner is the, is the powdered ink that goes inside the uh, photocopier and we're called toner heads. T-O-N-E-R, toner, toner heads. A very special kind of nerd. A nerd that, that should be in charge of designing photocopiers, not the idiots that we have now. So we need more toner heads in, in the mix. So let's see how we go with this. I do think, I don't know whether that's too light or not. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have here is a piece of um, chrome plated automotive plastic, some kind. I don't know where it comes from, probably from a light, a car fit, a car light, maybe a tail light or something. It probably comes from. We're going to move it around. <laughs> don't know how that turned out. Yeah, looks interesting, but it looks a bit boring. I like this colour stuff there. However, I do think we'll try another one. This sunlight's getting a bit annoying, though. Maybe darken it a bit, as I was thinking. These ribbings aren't as, as pronounced as I'd like them to be for making a really good movement piece. Yeah, looks interesting. Uh, we've got this interesting little bit there. Um, I wonder if we're going to utilise that or maybe do another piece. Tricky. These these moving it, do it using it at four hundred percent can be really tricky because the lamp moves really fast and it's only a small area. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot nicer. It's got a lot more to it that we can utilize. So we can make this into our master copy. Uh, okay. utilize this yeah folks I've got a, a big ambition as as a toner head I want to redesign the photocopier from scratch I want to redesign the photocopier from scratch uh, make it into something that's a lot better than this piece of shit for example because Oh shit, yeah, this has come up a tree. Look at that, it's filled the whole bloody page without much effort. That looks really nice. I do think that's really nice. But basically, I accidentally left this on the glass, but it didn't make any impression. So, but basically, yeah, I want to redesign the photocopier from scratch. I want to make the hardware, which is the physical stuff, last 60 years not five years and I want uh, the hardware to be made with as little plastic as possible I don't like plastic folks so I'm gonna make this machine mostly out of metal 
um, and basically it's going to be the chassis of the of the machine will be made out of um, titanium and the external covers will either be aluminium or um, t stainless steel, titanium, or even this newfangled material called alon, which is basically aluminium, oxygen, and nitrogen. That's the composition, and it's basically like see-through aluminium, even though it's actually classified as a ceramic. So this is going to be like a real exciting um, future I'm looking forward to designing photocopiers to my care careful and loving specification. And the software is going to be different. It's not going to be like this legacy shit that you just get, because they just upgrade the hardware, but they don't give you more features or anything. That, that, that you get new ones, it's really boring. I find photocopy is quite boring now. In the old days, they used to uh, put new features in on a regular basis, and now they, they don't. They just, make, they just make use of what has been in there for deca up to decades, decades old software, and it's really boring. And I want these machines to have custom full customizability that they can basically be um, programmed uh, easily using artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has come a long way and it's a very powerful tool now for both for good and evil purposes and we need this stuff to make the features easier for people to use but you don't have to have the features factory in, in your factory build. You can actually just buy them as apps, little make them as apps that you can buy off a store, just like in the mobile phone industry. So, you know, it's that sort of thing. And basically, um, yeah, choose what you want, choose the features you want, and, you know, the machine will come complete with in, in the factory sense with enlargements, reductions, uh, double-sided copying and that sort of shit, but everything else will just be like downloads that you can get and you can customise it to suit your uh, your per preferences and your personal taste. And another thing to note also is getting back to the hardware. The hardware has got to be created as much as possible from recycled materials, not fucking... Uh, materials from the ground or mined and i'd like i have a vision of mining the e-waste dumps of the world for e-waste to utilize that in in the design of our photocopiers because they've got to be clean and green as well as efficient so there's a lot of things i want to do um to improve um photocopier design uh, it's going to be a long-term goal. I'm probably going to be in my, very much in my old age by the time these equipments hit the market. But I'm really looking forward to doing that, making the world a better place also to try and help others who need help and, and to clean up the environment by mining the waste, the e-waste dumps and the rubbish tips of the world, including Australia. But also places especially like China and India, which are heavily polluted. And this has come up better than I thought. I think we can now call this demo quits.